Before you start mowing, you might want to consider a pair of ear defenders, especially if mowing for long periods. By UK law, decibel levels need to be below 100. Noise can vary greatly between models, so do test different options with a dealer if you possibly can. Although some models have a manual transmission with a clutch, most are now hydrostatic. This makes the machine easier to use and is great for cutting large areas. This is also safer as the mower stops as soon as you take your foot off the pedal. Consider the quality of the tyres. Look for a well-defined deep tread that will be durable and offer stability and traction. Maneuverability is important, particularly on a site with obstacles or narrow tight spots. It's the turning circle that affects maneuverability the most. Anti-scalping wheels on the cutting deck are a helpful feature on some models too, ensuring you don't gouge turf off bumps with the deck. Four-wheel drive is particularly helpful in bumpy conditions where you need more control. This feature is likely to increase the price tag though. One of the most important choices you'll need to make is whether you want a mower that will collect all of the clippings in a bag for you to dispose of, or whether to leave them on the lawn. Or do you want a mulching mower that will chop the blades of grass extra fine so they gradually compost down, releasing nutrients to feed your lawn? If you opt to collect the clippings, think about the size of the grass collector. A smaller collector will mean you have to stop to empty it more often. On large areas, you'll be glad of a larger bag. Some models allow you to empty the collection bag while remaining sitting, using a telescopic handle. Be sure to test this, though, when buying. Is the mechanism comfortable and can you access it without twisting? Other collection models have an automatic tipping system to save you any heavy lifting. Some tractors have the option of side ejection, the most practical way of cutting long grass and handy when you don't want to collect the clippings. Very large volumes of long cut grass will need raking up though, or they could smother your lawn. Some collector models come with a kit that allows you to convert to a mulching function when you don't want to collect the clippings. After use, cleaning is an important part of the maintenance regime for any mower or tractor. Some models allow you to lift up the cutting deck, exposing the cutting blades for easy cleaning. Others have a very useful hose attachment, so you plug the hose directly into the deck and water sluices around the blades and drains out beneath the machine. Be sure to run the engine for five to 10 minutes afterwards so the mower dries thoroughly. Whichever model you opt for, be sure that you have adequate parking space for it, ideally under cover. The ride-ons and tractors we looked at ranged in price from £1,900 to £6,000. This is a big commitment, so do visit a dealer to explore options. You'll be able to test different models for ease of use and comfort, and get the details you need to help you make the right choice, including information on warranty, servicing, safe operation, ongoing maintenance, and delivery of your machine.